Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ro and I've been in recovery from anorexia for a little while now. But one thing that I think is really holding me back and something that I could get away with doing, you know, like it's not going to impact anyone else's life and I could survive doing this, but something that's going to prevent me from having full food freedom is counting calories and tracking them. Lots of people will say, oh, well, you're not really all in if you're counting calories, but to me, all in kind of means I am going to achieve full food freedom and full health. It doesn't mean I can just do it all straight away, but counting calories, measuring things, weighing things out is something that has been holding me back. So in today's video, I'm going to be not measuring anything, not counting calories at all. And this is the first time I will have done that in years. And I'm terrified. I'm so scared. I feel like I kind of need to go cold turkey and just do it because I'm waiting for other people to give me permission to stop counting calories. I need to just let go because I've been experiencing extreme hunger recently and I know I need to honour it because it's what my body's asking me to do but I haven't been managing to as well as I could and I think it's because I know the calories and I'm scared of going over what I've been having and gaining excess weight but I'm gonna gain weight either way. With that being said, breakfast time! I'm gonna have white chocolate and raspberry shreddies and I'm gonna free pour them and I'm gonna free pour the milk. What if I don't do the right amount though? Like what? What is the right amount? The right amount is how many you want, isn't it? Too little's not good, but too much is fine. You don't have too much. Oh my god. Okay, right. It looks. I think it looks okay. Now I need to pour the milk. Oh my god. Just do it. Nothing's going to happen, and you will see that nothing bad is going to happen. I feel like I've given myself too much. But you're always going to feel like that, aren't you? Until you just get over that. I want to be free. If you're hungry and you say, oh no, you can't be hungry because you've already had X, Y and Z, then you're not really listening to your body. I'm starting to think I did do over the... Well, what does it actually matter? Yeah, you're right, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, but... It's absolutely fine, it's totally normal. Unmeasured cereal, unmeasured milk, done. So, it's Easter on Sunday, and today is like, what is it, Good Friday? And I am gonna have something that I have not had in many a year, but this Easter I don't want to miss out on the celebrations, I don't want to miss out on the special food. I want to join in fully. So, I've got unknown calorie hot cross buns, which are a fear food, amplified by the fact that there's no calories on it. We went to M&S and they didn't have any hot cross buns without calories on. Sainsbury's only had these ones without calories on. Everything has calories on. So I'm having a hot cross bun and I'm having a spread on it. My heart is literally hammering. I don't want to miss out on another Easter. Pull yourself together. Put your bun. Oh my God. It takes me like right back to being a child. That's what freedom tastes like. Doesn't matter that I don't know the calories in it, it's irrelevant. Done. A fully unknown calorie breakfast. It's morning snack time. I'm having something that I really like having as a snack, but that is always pre-portioned, apart from obviously the fruit part of it. Usually I'll have like one of the little Alpro yogurt pots and put it in the bowl, and obviously I don't need to measure anything out. I've got a big pot of Alpro strawberry yogurt, and I'm gonna free measure it into the bowl and then I'm gonna put banana in it. This really panics me because I've only just kind of overcome my fear of yogurt and I think the fact that it's been portioned out has helped because I've been like, well, I know exactly how much is in it and everything. So I'm just gonna do like what I think looks right. And it's actually really hard to trust your judgment when you have anorexia because obviously you're very used to trying to undercut and stuff. But this is it now, like I'm going for recovery. I don't want anything to hold me back anymore. So, okay, all right, I'm just gonna pour it in. Okay, is that a lot? Usually it's like an even layer on the bottom of the bowl. Hmm, I can't tell. I can't tell if I've done enough or too much. But realistically, I shouldn't be aiming for a portion size. I should just be pouring it. I think that looks like a good amount. Plus I'm adding banana. I think that's a good amount. Okay. It turns out my brother ate the last banana. Thanks, Rory. So we're gonna go to Sainsbury's and buy some bananas. And then I'll come back and put banana in this and eat it. So 
I was like really freaked out by the fact that this is like unmeasured yogurt but it's been so long since I measured it out now that I'm kind of less freaked out about it and I was just been, like thinking the whole way around Sainsbury's like looking at all the different foods like I'm sick to death of anorexia and living by its rules and not being allowed the foods that I want to eat because the calories, you know, push me over what I should have or, you know, there is no should have. There is what your body wants and what your body needs and that's what I need to give it but I just can't get that into my head. Um, I think I'm experiencing extreme hunger at the moment. Like I'm pretty sure I am. But the calories always hold me back from honouring it. But I've just finished that and like my tummy is still like wanting food. It's so scary. Like it's so scary. I feel so out of control. But I know that like I need to let go and just let my body gain the weight that it wants to gain. I might like have a handful of cereal from the box. I'm just gonna eat a few shreddies. You talk yourself up and then you panic. I know. God, I'm just so hungry, it's ridiculous. Bear in mind, how starved your body's been for so long, but it's pretty expected really, isn't it? If your body's asking for the food, then it needs the food. So me and mum are gonna make soup now, and then I will see you when it's time to eat it. Update on the soup situation. I've realized I'm just trying to like micromanage and um, control everything. So I'm gonna let mum make the soup. Mum is cooking. Mum's kicking the soup. Ooh. Okay, so mum is just gonna serve me some soup. Oh, some really chunky bits of tomato in there. My God, look at that. That's massive. That's a bowl of soup. We've got a tiger baguette. I haven't had fresh bakery bread because it's unknown calorie and also it's white bread so it's just a huge fear food but i absolutely used to love it and like we'd always get baguette with soup and this is my childhood favorite soup minestrone but again something that i haven't been able to have and i'm really panicking but i'm so done with anorexia like I'm, I'm fed up with giving into it when i was younger we'd probably have like two bits wouldn't we okay right i think that's all right two bits of tiger baguettes oh my god my heart ah! Focus on all the things that will bring me in life rather than the, the fear freedom. of my weight. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. It's a massive <laughs> bowl. Are you sure it's a serving? Right. This, these are our soup bowls. This is what we have our soup in. I'm going to try some baguette. It tastes so nice. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Life is way too short to be scared of bread. You know how scared you are when you're about to do something really daredevil, like go down a really high zip wire, and you sort of think, oh god, I don't want to do it, and then you do it, and it's the most amazing feeling. It must be a bit like that for you with every food that you're eating. Mm -hmm. The panic I feel, oh my god, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, I don't want to do it. Mm. And then I do it, and I'm like, wow. Would you like some more? I just thought I feeling really like out of control. That is what anorexia wants you to feel. Yeah, I wouldn't be feeling like that if I didn't have anorexia. I wouldn't be feeling anything, I'd just be eating the soup. Done. I don't care about calories. So what are you having as your second part? I'm gonna pour some pretzels into a little bowl. I'm not gonna let it freak me out because like, they're just numbers. It's literally a number. Okay, so for part two of lunch, because I am still a bit hungry. I'm gonna free pour some pretzels into, did I say that really weird? Pretzels, pretzels, pretzels. Sounds weird now I'm saying it. Into here. Cause I always like weigh them out cause it has the portion size on the front. So roughly when I've had them, that is about, it just panics me that I don't know exactly. You want freedom. And to get freedom, you have to just force yourself to do things that feel uncomfortable, that feel wrong. Because if they are wrong, we'll tell you. Okay, mind over matter. Done. Unknown calorie lunch, smash. I just have this panic feeling inside me of like, oh my god, I'm so out of control. It's 
such a weird feeling it's literally like i'm floating because i feel so like detached like because it's just so surreal it's, it's weird because it's not even that big of a deal do you know what i mean like it's just i've done little unknown calorie things but i've never done a whole day and it's just like i have no idea i'm trying to tell myself it just doesn't matter but it's so scary and your brain is just so busy Mm. You probably can't even register how your stomach is, but you know. No, like I'm trying to figure out now. I'm like, do I feel full? Could I manage more? I cannot tell if I'm full or hungry. Like it's so confusing. Yeah, I'm gonna have a nice walk this afternoon, and then I'll see you at snack. When I'll be doing something else unknown calorie. <laughs> I'm literally sat here having to stop myself from tracking the calories in my phone or even counting them up in my head like i keep just going to think like right how much have i had mm, why is my brain doing this it won't give me a rest like it's just non-stop like it wants to know all the calories and everything it doesn't even matter how many calories are in it because realistically if i didn't count calories some days i would eat more and some days i would eat less and it would balance out and i know that but because i've micromanaged for so long i've eaten the same thing every day and i get convinced that my body needs the same amount every day when in reality some days i walk longer some days i sit more some days i will dance around it's not the same every day and i need to get that into my head It's afternoon snack time and me being the disorganised person that I am didn't buy chickpeas to make hummus which was what I was planning so instead I'm gonna do some very well I'm not gonna say very questionable because we don't know how it's gonna turn out butter bean hummus usually made out of chickpeas are they kind of similar I think they're kind of similar I'm just gonna make it the normal way I make hummus but with butter beans let's go I've just made it. She's looking like this, so she looks good. Put my finger in and try a bit. It literally tastes like hummus. It's all in the seasoning. It's really not, doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> what grain you use or bean or whatever the hell you want to call it. I'll chop some carrots. Um, I'm just gonna put the bowl on the table and freely dip because I always portion it out. And who the hell portions a dip out? Who gets a dip and like goes, oh yeah, we'll just, spoon a bit and that will be the amount I have like no, no. I it's my hummus I'm allowed to double dip <laughs> I'm obviously not gonna eat this whole thing of hummus let's go I do feel a bit freer like just knowing that I don't have to log the calories weird I kind of feel like I even though it's just a decision I've made to not do it I do genuinely feel like a little bit freer making big moves is it I didn't double dip, I turned it around. It's nice. I like your necklace. Thank you, I made it myself. Yeah. I was going to sell it. Mm. And then I was like, I like it too much, yeah. I'm keeping it. Nice. Hummus was a really big fear food, but I don't think I'm terribly scared of it anymore, to be honest. It's like a slight fear, but doesn't cause me that much anxiety. Keep calm down. Just panicking. You don't need to. I can't tell if I've had enough no. or not. I'll have a bit more. What the hell is going on in my tummy? But you are never going to know if you keep counting the calories and you only eat within a certain calorie band, you're never actually going to be answering your true hunger that's, signals. <coughs> that's restriction, isn't it? Mm. So I have finished my snack. I'm just going to have to sit here and figure out if I'm still hungry or not because I have no idea what's going on in my stomach right now. Like my brain is completely overriding. So your brain is saying you've had enough now, that's it. Yeah, but I'm like, have I? Do I still feel hungry? Have I eaten enough? See, this is the thing. My brain's sort of going, well, if you count calories, you know you are getting enough. It's like trying to befriend me in a recovery sense. I think you'll be forever in this dilemma yeah. until you just keep eating until you know you've had enough yeah. and just do that each time. Yeah. And that's going to be really hard and painful and yeah. challenging, but you've just got to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See you at dinner. Very conflicted, very confused. Don't really know what's going on, but I think I am quite hungry. So I'm having an apple. It's dinner time and this is possibly the thing I've been most scared of today. Although I say that, probably not. It's probably something else, isn't it? I don't know. It's many a thing. Um, something I have challenged but I really avoid um, 
is rice and also stir fries. So doing this unmeasured, I feel like I could explode. But I am going to free pour the rice into this ramekin. I'm gonna, oh my God, okay. It doesn't need to be exact, like nothing's gonna happen. Nothing bad is gonna happen. Ah, well, the bad thing that happened is that I'm pouring rice all over the side. Be right back, just scooping rice off the side into my ramekin. And the temptation is so there to just undercut, like I'm just, well, you're not weighing it, so why don't you just give yourself what looks like less so that you know it's not over, but like that is not gonna get me anywhere. Focus. I've got my rice. Um, hopefully that's the right amount. I'm having corn. And usually I weigh out the serving size. Uh, that's not necessarily the most normal thing in the world. I'm just gonna pour in what I think is the right. Mum, could you come and see if you think this is okay? Yeah, I think that looks good. Don't know if it looks more than normal. So I'm gonna put the rice on and then I'm gonna prep my veg. I'm gonna have peppers, carrots and mushroom. And then I'm also not going to measure the oil in the pan for the stir fry, which mum's been begging me to do for months. She's like, stop measuring the oil. And I'm like, no. And now, now she's doing it. Okay, you can't see me. I'm here. Hello. I'm using, oh my God, I literally just went to get a spoon. I'm using rapeseed oil. Um, and mum's gonna help me just see what the right amount is. I'm really panicking right now. I normally pour it onto that red dot in the middle and when that red dot's covered, I'm-, I'm You do it for a whole person. Is that good? Just a, a tiny splash more. Really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. This is the new row, she's different now. We don't panic about things. And then I'm gonna add um, sweet chili and soy sauce at the end and like obviously f not measure that. Oh, oh my God. Oh my word. <laughs> Freaking out. I'm just so scared I've overstaffed yeah. myself. Well, I'm telling you, honey, you haven't. It looks more because it's in a big wide bowl, actually. It's a normal portion for a you know, evening meal. And when I was younger, I wouldn't have thought twice about How much numbers there? to do with it. Yeah, tucked into it, isn't it? Yeah. It tastes really nice. It does look good. Mm. And I'm it's starving. Nice. I'm so yeah. hungry, seriously. <laughs> I'm starving. I should probably shouldn't say that. Yeah, you go for it. <laughs> I'm really, really mm. hungry. You know, all that food there is what your body needs. Just a normal portion, it, you know, not too small, it's not massive, it's just a, a decent, you know, decent amount. And Which is what my body needs. Absolutely. I need to have rice more often. Mm. I just avoid it and then it becomes like even scarier at the end. Mm. You can't eat everything every day and that would just be impossible, but you do need That's to. That's a good video. I eat everything every day for 24 hours. <laughs> How would that work? <laughs> just does. I did it. 2.4 million views. Anna, oh, I've got Google, I've got Google. Anorexia is like a broken pencil. Pointless. You enjoyed that one, didn't you? Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Go on stage. Come on, pick that fork up. Right, well, you know. Go abroad, don't we? Enjoy holidays again. Uh, I'm hungry enough to manage all this as big as it feels, so. Yeah. No, but there is no excuse. That's, that's the only way you can do it. You can't lose weight. You can't stay the same. You know, like what you said before, if you just stay the same, you just, you'll never recover. You're always going to be at the behest of an election. Oh. Doing the right thing. This is the right thing, even though it feels wrong. Yeah. Just the final push. It's like you're greedy, you're greedy, you're greedy. What you're doing is trying to cancel out the deficit by eating what a normal person would eat. Mm -hmm. you know? And like no matter what the calories are, it's just a meal at the end of the day. Like it's not going to be drastically different just because I haven't measured everything. Okay. Unmeasured oil, unmeasured rice, unmeasured corn. All in my tummy. What are you doing, honey? Well, well done. Thank you. Yeah. 
So mum's just scribbled out the calories on this ice cream because it's been in the freezer since before I was um, challenging ice cream. So I actually have no idea how much is in it or anything. And I'm just gonna scoop it in because obviously that's not really measured. So yeah. I just feel awful after that stir fry. Well, I don't think you should feel awful and I don't think you should allow yourself to feel awful. I just wanna cry. Remember that if it feels wrong, it's right. It just feels like I'm losing a part of me. Like yeah, you're losing yeah. a really sick and horrible part of you. Like nobody. It's just taking away four years of your life. Nobody wants around. I don't want anorexia around. I hate it. I wouldn't feel like this if I didn't have it. Absolutely. Just go back to the little girl. Who, you know, on holiday and before all this, what would she be doing with you know a bowl of ice cream? I am strong and I can get over this. And you can do it, people do do it. It's a little bowl of ice cream though, it's not gonna hurt you. I am sorry. What are you sorry about? You don't need to be sorry. You're at home with us. Be sorry to yourself that you've put yourself through this and make amends for it now. No, nobody should be crying over a bowl of ice cream and I know that's not just what you're crying over, but it's just food that your body needs. Anorexia. We are just going to play a game of Cluedo now and I'm going to try and not feel awful. Before my snack. Before my snack. <laughs> <laughs> to end the day, I'm going to finish off the bakery bread from earlier, which is actually a giraffe loaf, not a tiger loaf. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm really going to push myself and I'm going to have what I truly fancy because I I'm feeling a bit stronger than I was at tea. I'm gonna have one half of Nutella and I'm gonna have the other half of Biscoff. I just wanna feel proud of myself. I couldn't imagine a day that I didn't count calories and now I have. This is the end of a day and I have no idea. I haven't, I haven't even let myself add it up in my head and I haven't Googled anything. I've really like had to keep myself in check but I've, I've done it. Biscoff and Nutella are both really like still fear foods, so I really need to keep challenging them. I've done it a whole day of not knowing the calories. Well done. How does that feel? Terrifying and out of control, but necessary. Absolutely. You sure that you can do it? I'm going to delete my apps, my calorie counting app. I've deleted them. Good. Well, that's terrifying because that's like the thing that's kept me feeling slightly in control. But today has been all about that, hasn't it? Mm. Not knowing the calories and you've got through it. Yeah, and I'm alive and I'm okay. Going to be freer. Eventually you won't even have these conversations going on in your head. Because mm. like I felt really on edge today and really like I have no idea, I have no idea. But I need to sit with that feeling because... I shouldn't know the calories and everything. And if I just go back to counting them again tomorrow, then what's the point in today? I'm, I need to just stop. Hello, I do look rough, but if you've made it this far, you're probably a real one, so you probably don't mind too much. Anyways, I just wanted to pop in here and say, I know I might get people telling me that I'm not really all in if I counted calories, but I don't really agree with all in having rules. I think all in has to mean something different for everyone because your recovery is your recovery and it's not a specified thing it is your life and you're doing it for yourself um unfortunately calorie counting was something that I kept trying to give up but just couldn't because I wasn't getting support for it um that I needed and so I kind of just realized well I'm not going to get the support got to do it myself with that being said it has now been almost a week since I deleted the apps that I was tempted to check all the time and since I just decided to stop counting calories I'm not gonna say it's been easy like Jesus it has not like it's been really hard because my brain is just a calculator anyways like I'm bad at maths but when it comes to calories my brain knows them all and I know a lot of you will feel the same but it's been a week and I haven't counted calories and I've been honoring my hunger a lot more and doing really really well so this is me ending it I love you all very, very much. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.